All right, so the first thing I want you guys to do is take a look at whatever picture you have picked. You can print it out if you would like, and I want you to figure out what colors you need. There may be variations in the colors, but pick out the main colors that stick out to you. So for mine, there's this greenish brown color, there's an orange, and there's this what's supposed to be white on the spider actually comes through as gray. So I went through and I picked my colors. So I have my orange, I lightened up my gray, and I have my green. You can see I went through different tests. First it was a little too dark, so I lightened it, and then I went through different shades of green and came to this one. So the first thing I want you to do is take a look at your picture and figure out what textures you might need. So you might want to do stippling here. You might want to do some, maybe some dry brushing here. But you just want to block in your colors. So that's what I'm going to do today. Alright, so the first color I'm going to start with is my green. I know it's kind of hard to see. <clears throat> But I'm going to be working on this part of the leg. So here it is, and it's a little bit outlined. You can see there's a little bit of white at the top. So I'm not going to try and go for every single little mark, but I'm going to try and make the same type of texture. And I'm going to make sure to leave some white spaces for the tips of the fur on the little spider or the hairs. And I can always come back and add some more. Okay, so that's just where I'm going to leave it for now. Always make sure to have your paper towels out. And I misplaced mine. There we go. Now there's an actual little hair, so I'm going to pick that up. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the side of the head. Same thing. I'm just going to make some strokes. Leave some gaps, maybe. So I can always come back. Same thing to continue to this part of the leg. Now there's a lot more white, so I want to leave a lot more space. And these hairs seem to come towards this way, so I'm going to change the direction. But you can see I'm not trying to go for an exact replica. Just give the idea of this texture. Now there's a lot of white here, and there wasn't as much white here, so I can actually come back and add more color to what I've already added. So that would be wet into wet. So it was already wet and I'm coming back to add a little bit more color. Now there's a lot more white down here so I'm just going to add a little bit. Same thing as we move on down to this area. So I have a big section of green here but I'm going to bring some strokes down. Now let's zoom in and see what that looks like. So it's starting to look just like that. So as we move our way down, we're going to keep doing the same thing, but we can see that the hairs over here are a little bit longer. So maybe I'll just leave some more sections farther apart and I can always come back and add more sections if I think I need it. Now these hairs are coming more down this direction as you can see but there's a lot more white than over here. Okay. So that's good for the green right now. Now I'm going to move to the orange. So I'm going to move to the orange section. Make sure to mix up my orange. If there's too much paint 
on my brush I can always test it out by just touching it to the paper towel to take off a little bit of that color now for this whole orange section I can just block in this whole section so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to try and work fast so nothing dries too quickly now since the hairs on this section I can just add in using a darker color so I don't need to leave any spots that are empty like I had to for the white spots okay and that's all I need to do for the orange section right now now because this section is wet and this section is wet I don't want to work on this area here because then this color will start blending in to this one. Remember our wet into wet technique? So if I, for example, had green over here and I had orange over here, if I tried to add my gray in the middle, look what happens, right? It just starts blending together and that's what I don't want. Okay, so we're going to let that dry completely. Now, if you would like to, you can just set it out in the sun and let it dry. Or you can just move to a different section. So maybe I can start doing the green over on this side and on this side. Or maybe I can start working um, maybe on a little bit of the gray that it comes into here as long as it doesn't come in contact with this area over here. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with a little bit of details in the eyes. So I'm going to go over this whole section with a light gray. The reason I'm doing that is because this color is not absolutely white. So I'm just going to go over the whole section on each eye in gray. Now I'm not going to do the ones in the middle because it touches the orange, remember? And they will start blurring into each other. So if you have a blow dryer, you can blow dry it, but I would make sure that there are no drips. Like see here, you can see it's really shiny. That's too shiny. You want to wait till it looks more like this area here. See, if I move it, you can't see the shiny on that end, right? So we're going to wait. Okay. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit, and we're going to just move on to the next arm while this gets a little more matte dry. So if we look at this arm, there's a lot of white in this area and there's a big section that's not white and then more out down below. So I don't need to be exact, right? So what I can do is just come in here and I know there's a big section here and I know there's a lot less white in this area here. But I still want to give it the illusion of hair. Now, in this section here, there's a lot more of the white hairs. So I'm just going to come in very delicately and maybe just add a little bit. The hairs are kind of curling down here. So I just want to make sure to give that illusion that it's coming down. Let's move this a little bit. Okay. Now you can't take off paint, but you can add it. So less is more on this first layer. Okay. 
All right, and until it dries, I would just leave it like this. You can do this section over here, but for just sake of example, you saw me do it over here. So this is where I would let it dry, and once it's completely dry, you can start on the eyeballs. You can start adding more color on each um, section. All right, and so now that our first layer has dried, we are going to go back and we're gonna keep adding to our drawing. So just like we did in the previous one, we're gonna completely fill in these eyes. Make sure to do it quickly so you get one uniform color. You can see how thinly I'm putting these layers on, right? I don't have a bunch of water. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to go back and add some more layers to our green section. So if we look at our picture, we can see there's a lot more darker spots. So we can take some more of our green color, make sure there's not too much water on your paintbrush, and we're going to go back and add some darker spots on top of what we've already done. And this is just giving it more texture. Kind of starting to resemble this a little bit. Okay, we can come back in here and we can start adding some more. So there's some darker spots in here that we can add. Same thing down here. And I'm just trying to get some of this look. And I'm not completely painting over everything I did. I'm just adding some darker spots. Same thing over here. Trying to make it look like little hairs. And I'm just going off of here. Okay. Now, it's not too wet, so I'm just going to blow dry this area. Alright, so now that these eyes are 
dry, I can start working on the orange again. So if we look at the orange, we have some black spots, but there's a lot more area where we need to add some orange. So if you look, the hairs go in different directions. So that's the illusion we want to give. This goes this direction. And then we have some that kind of come this way. Comes down. And we can see in here just all the different directions that these hairs come in. Okay. Now what we can do is we can come back to these eyes. Not these ones because this is still wet. And we can keep building up this outer color. Now if you realize you want to make it a little darker, you can just make a darker black or whatever color you need. And it's already wet so I can add a little bit more color and I can blend this in. If it's a little too wet, I'm going to dry off my brush. And I'm going to spread this around. I don't want to go too dark too fast. Dry off my brush. And there we go. And this is what we're going to keep doing. We're just going to keep layering nice and slow until we start getting more of the definition that we are looking for. <laughs> 